Everybody, welcome back. This is the Image Gallery Series, Part Three. Okay, now this isn't really integral, integral to the uh, to the actual um, uh, way we're going to make this Ajaxy gallery, but I just wanted to show you a detail and give you another another example here. I do have a background on this um, on this particular page. If you'll notice over on the sides, you see it. We have a container div in the middle that stands out, and all I have is a simple gradient here that's going to go from black onto this gray here. I'm going to show you how to make that. That's actually an image file that's in Photoshop. Okay, So let's move over here for a second and I have a file here. Let's just open that up called grad.psd. Okay, So it's a Photoshop file that's called gradient. Okay, Now here's how I made this gradient. Okay, Here's how you make any gradient. Um, let me go ahead and let's select, um, let's just do an image here, do a solid color. And let's put a white over here so we can start over. Okay, so here's how we're starting. Let's select a new layer. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a gradient on a white background. If you haven't done this yet, you can go under File and just select New. Okay, and your Photoshop uh, will give you a menu. I select under the web presets, just the 800 by 600 preset, and you're good to go. Okay, just say OK, and you'll come out with a new document. <clears throat> okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the gradient tool to make this gradient. It's real simple. It's nothing complex, believe me. Okay, so the gradient tool is over here on the tool, tool palette. It's um, right here under the eraser. Okay, And what this allows me to do is if I just kind of click and drag, it draws a line, as you can see, on your, on your uh, canvas. And when I let go, it draws the gradient. Okay, So this particular gradient is real simple. What it does is it takes over here back on the toolbar the color palette from the foreground color to the background color. Now if I want to change one of these colors, I simply double click on it and it gives me the color picker and I can change the color. And then when I do a new gradient, it gives me from the red to the gray, for instance. Okay, So that's all we're doing. Now what I'm doing here is I don't want this to be too harsh. I want it to be subtle. So what I've done is I've taken the foreground color and made it a strong black and take the background color and made it kind of a little less black. Not quite into the medium grays, but uh, it's just a little less. Okay, And what we're going to say is say OK. Now I want to redraw this gradient. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the top of the screen to the bottom, because what I want this do, to do is I want the image to overlay via using a background image in CSS. We're going to have it repeat along its x-axis only. Okay, And so I'll show you how this works when we get into to the CSS a little bit. But anyway, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead, click at the top of the screen, and this is where it's going to be black, where, the, where your gradient starts. And I can drag it down. Now, I want this to be straight, otherwise you're going to notice some weirdness on the page. How do I do that? I haven't let go of my mouse yet. If you hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, look at that, it snaps it right into place. So now, it's, what it does is it snaps it to straight up and down and then 45 degree angles and then 90 degree angles on the side. So if you want to make any kind of precision adjustment, and this goes for any tool in Photoshop, hold down the shift key while you're clicking and dragging it will work. And so I'm just going to click and drag, let go, and you can see here's my gradient from black to just uh, a very dark gray. So that's how this is going to work. Now what you want to do now is simply save this out. Let's go under File, say Save for Web and Devices. You can adjust here. Um, this is a 25K JPEG, which is probably a little on the big side for most applications, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Go ahead and save it. Make sure it's in the folder with all your images in it. And we'll move on from there and show you how to put this in with our CSS.